Halverwege zou er even een, een korte koffiepauze zijn, vijf minuutjes om even een bakje, een bakje te halen. Uh, en uh, in totaal zal het zo'n half uur ongeveer zitten. Uh, na die tijd is, uh, is, de bar, uh, is de bar nog open, wil je blijven hangen om na te kletsen, uh, vragen te stellen of, uh, of, uh, of wat dan ook. Uh, wees welkom. Uh, ik denk uh, dat we het over gehad hebben. Uh, voor wat betreft de opnames, uh, dat is nog goed nog om te melden, er wordt opgenomen. Uh, de beelden gaan achteraf uh, naar de MBB toe. Uh, die hebben de rechten, maar die hebben wel toegezegd dat het ook online komt, dus dat je het ook, uh, dus dat je het ook terug kan kijken. Uh, ik wens jullie een hele fijne avond. Tell me, hey coach, 
Jesus gave as a sign. Which is different. The different thing is that we put the focus in this part. We call it learning accelerators. So Albert now in the part that he's gonna work, he's gonna say some tips to, to players that are gonna accelerate the learning of the player in the technical stuff. After the technical stuff, we're gonna say some points that are gonna help them in the tactical stuff. So these bridges that we call it, these bridges between the, 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 the parts, is what they, is the thing that help them to learn fast. To learn fast. So this is the first idea that I want to tell you. And the second idea is that we are agreed that we have to practice for them, right? We are agreed. We practice for the players. Brazil, not here, but as in some countries, or, or here in some clubs, in Spain, in some clubs, people that practice for, he, for himself. A coach asks out this exercise, or asks out this play, and I want to do it, and that's the matter which is the age of our players, or which are the skills of our players, or we are which are the talents of our players, or what is the future of our players. So we have to make sure that the first day until the end of the season, we are relaxing and we are like consciousness that we are practicing for them. And this is the main idea that gives us the opportunity to create all these this goal for all this methodological part is for them. It's going to be everything for them. It's clear up here. Yes. So now I'm going to start with the physical work, and I'm going to be here with you to see how we can relate it to the basketball. Let's see if we can see moves that are related to the basketball, or let's see which tips he give them to the players that later are going to help me Okay. I think that there is another thing for training and a lot of physical trainers always they want training in a gym. Most prefer physical training. But how we have to do in a court or don't lose the time. Okay? For example, uh, players, six. One line out court, the other line out, out court. Get one ball. Get one ball. Yeah, we don't forget the basketball. And we are making the same move 
you have a handful and you have to keep balance for the finish when you have contact, you have to keep more stronger and help for the finish. You can jump high and you can have more control for the finish. Coordination and solid, 
receive the contracts. Uh, we have to understand that when when they play, they always play with their body, right? And they advance, they play with the hips, and we have to put, um, we have to improve about the body, all right? Um,
on the body base, he made some mistakes or some details that are going to help him to improve the, 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 the move or, or, or the things that the coach tells him, right? For example, he say, yes, where are you? Yes, catch one more.
Yeah, 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 for us, we come in this thing. Hey, guys, I love your wish. Make this change for sure. But don't worry, guys, I practice with you. After the game, if you open and look in the wrist and you lose the ball, I'm going to say, hey, guys, I leave you. Because I practice with you. Another thing, when you hear the ball, do the exercise, yes. Do the exercise. Hear the ball. This is important.
they are not allowed to make bad and escape people at the square. Why? I don't know why. Maybe they don't practice it with 10 times a week. But, guys, you deserve it. I'm going to play with the rules wherever you want. Back, open, hip, and back. And now you stop. Clear. So it's going to be one dribble, one dribble, one dribble, one dribble. If you don't make any turn over, I don't trust you, or you are doing it. Boom, I'm here. Back, back, and now you square. Okay, relax. Go back. Let's see with the left. Hey, for with the left. I'm sure. Back, okay. Left, square. Back, square. Bigger as possible. Bigger as possible. Okay, do it. And this takes like a very really simple exercise, but we are watching. Balance if you are not sure it's possible.
balance and maybe coordination and you are open to be able to learn soprano. So if you have to go bang, bang, really nice, I mean, the study group is one of the best players I ever seen. Uh, let's go open it. Ooh, bang it. Bang it. Don't lose the 
you get together, if you get together, I don't really care. One guy is gonna be in offense, the other is gonna be on defense. One guy is gonna be in offense, one guy is gonna be on defense. And we say, hey guys, you attack. I promise you that if you change the flex, if you really change the flex of your defender and you attack him, you are gonna beat him. Changing the flex. What do you think? Change the flex, what means? Change the flex. That's how it's Change the position. <laughs> so imagine we go to the move. One second, guys, if I make a shoot fade, what is gonna do? Jump it, right? So we change the position. If I'm here and I make this, whoa. But what happens if I come here, try to steal me the wall? Steal me the wall. He changed the position and beat him, he changed the flex. So I can beat him. So guys, no offense. Try to change the flex of the defense. Try to change the flex of the defense. Clear? So defenders, you are ready there. I want you to make mirror to the wall. I want you to make mirror to the wall in the first step. Okay? I want you to make mirror to the wall. And remember guys, that we did say one thing before. We need to break the distance of the defense. So we have two options. Change the flex, break the distance to beat my guy. Let's see, guys, go. Middle, 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 Chest, 
showed them a chance. You have to change the state. For example, the thing that we practiced before, right? And see this. Now I'm here. Now I break the distance. So he has to take a decision. He's going to come. I go shoulder by shoulder. I can attack. No shoulder by shoulder. OK, change shoulder by shoulder. Go. This is the read that you have. Got it? Back. Forget this. You have to change in the brakes or try to move it to the side. Clear? Yes? Go. Go, go. Right? 
So position after the flexion. Go. But they are really focused. And now we can correct me and say, Uruk, you are allowed to run with the hands up. You can run with the hands up. You can run with the hands up. Run with the hands up. Run with the hands up. Run, no, run, run with the hands up. Run it. Hands up. Run with the hands up. Okay, run with the hands up. And now in the moment of the run, when you do this, you stop your feet and you change legs. So I saw you. And this is coordination. Run. Do this. Hey, hey, wait your hands up from the beginning, man. Don't try to kill me. Go. Back. Back. Go. Okay. Because it's gonna be a really good tool in Guru. Try to take hands up, right? I mean, it's easy to destroy you. No more than you to throw. The key words. So, he beat you, position, back, deflection. One more time. Go. One more time, there you go.
but at the end of the day, it has to survive. This guy is going to compete for it. But if we try to think that that act out of the process, out of the, out of the game, if we try to think that we cannot relate it, the player at the end is going to be confused. I go to the gym and do this. I never go to the gym and do this. But the coach tells me that in the day, I have to go back. I cannot be my one-on-one, -on -one, so I prefer the ball screen. But without the one-on-one, -on -one, I'm not going to be a really good player of ball screen because I need to react it before. So he's like a freeze that he, he's, he's, he's like a, he's dirty, you see? So if we learn to this, we can create exercises in this idea. I like to draw it. The most important thing for create any exercise or for create any practice is for what? For what? We were talking if we do why or for what, I think that why is like a question with an answer. So, hey Albert, why do you think that this practice is really good? So I have an answer. I know that this practice is good or this model works. But if you play for one, we give them the consciousness of a reason. You play the one one for freedom defender, for the air advantage, for the teammate, for whatever. We can say you play the one one for score. Or maybe another team is you play your one on one for create an advantage for your team. Hey good, but if I can score, yeah, you can score, but if anyone has any advantage for it. Okay, everyone has his idea or has for his what. When we have for what, we tell them what. Hey, you have to do this, you have to do this, and you have to do this. What? For example, we say, hey, you have to change the fix, you have to move him. And when you pass the ball floor, you have to reach out to a shoulder. Uh, shoulder. What? What I have to do? They go and study exercise knowing what I have to do. So after only, we have to think. In how? Hey player, you won. Hey player, you want to win shoulder by shoulder, right? Yeah, coach, because if I have shoulder to shoulder, I'm going to play the basket, I'm going to create an advantage for my teammate. And I'm talking, okay, how? I give you two options, you decide. You cross the step and you go. Good me. Or you win the reference and you go. And I'm telling my players, it might be something in the morning, we know it. Hey, what do you prefer? The first one or the second one? Always they told me the second one because I know where the options are going. So, and you can tell me why. So, hey, why this? I'm not the first one. If I go for the first one, in this house, and in the moment that I cross it, he gives me a contact, it's impossible that I'm solid looking or facing my action. If I go and he gives me a contact, it's impossible to be solid facing my target. But if I go on the second one, no option. If I go on the second one and he give me a contact, I'm going to keep looking my target. This is my how. Hey, guys, we go in the morning, practice this one on one. How we did it. And sometimes I do some extras and I put here like some plays from my team, like Ruben knows. Hey, Ruben, one, two. And Ruben, every day here, like, one, two. And Ruben goes to sleep, he eating, one, two. I'm sure that he goes to the bike in the street and he's looking back like, I don't want to see 
and then the guy told them, oh, but in the second week, when they say, they see that this guy comes to the people, first they run, right? I like it. Second, he comes and give it. I like it more. Okay, we are practicing. So this is a word from the beginning. After the gym, I don't know if you know what we have about this week. I think that it's necessary, but for what you training in the gym? Sorry? For what you train in the gym? Yeah, for the, for the game and the end, huh? yeah. uh, But you can train it for a bit stronger, for the better, but are you efficient? With the technique in the gym for a basketball, it's hundred percent profitable the work of the gym. So if we think in, in a simple exercise, press down cut, like push-ups, it's like wow, I'm doing so much stuff. Okay, we think in this, it's really profitable, like hundred percent profitable for basketball. No, but it's necessary too because we need to be balanced. It's necessary too because we need to be balanced. It's necessary to go four times a week. Like coach, like, hey kid, go to the gym four times a week. No. Or yes, if you need it, if you need to feel like, for example, I tell you like a personal uh, thing. Don knows, Bean knows this. I say that Martin goes two times or three times, three times, I say three times to the gym. I say this during the first moment. Because a South player the first day like this, and they are young and they need to compete in under 20, so they need to do something. They need to do something. But at the same time, one day a week, I do this job with the guys and the girls of the time. We do this stuff job in the court. So gym is necessary, yes. With this age, I'm not sure if they need it. They need it, but like a compliment. You call it compliment? something extra. But this word that I heard is this from the beginning. How many days do you have for training? By the way, two days? Two days. Do you have a team? No. no. We have How you can improve these things? With the ball. In the court. Yeah, but probably not everyone can train in five days or four days at a week. And probably uh, everyone say, I want gym for the morning, I want training for the afternoon. I think that it's not really necessary. Yeah. I think that you can use your time, but you have, the, the players have improved in the court. They improve there, yes. But for what? Well, this is one of the, of the goals that we, that we, when we prepared the gym, we were thinking this. One of the goals was, I told them, yeah, but I'm not sure that all the coaches that are going to come have the same condition that I have. Because, of course, I'm really lucky to be here. I'm really lucky here. And I know what I'm coaching is going to be. So you practice two times. I don't know, yeah, I think that you say two times is two, right? Yeah, someone is going to practice three, some, someone is going to practice two, or someone is going to practice eight. Okay, it's fine. But I'm sure that with this exercise, with two practices, and how many is we spend one hour, one day or so? Okay, you put one day, I'm sure that with this exercise, your players, with two days, are going to improve more. Because this was our goal. Because if I put here now, the condition, necessary, a complement of the condition, and we put a plan here for the team, or the tactical staff, and we put a plan here for you guys, and it's not going to be useful for you. Because you don't have it. You don't have, you are not lucky like me or, or, or yes, I don't know. In this case, this is our goal. So I, I hope that this is like profitable for you to with two days or two days or three days or four. So any any more questions or we can close? Exactly this, this red one, we put in the body basics, and after here I put in the like skip trumpet. Uh, so, uh, no, 
Dus welkom om te blijven hangen. Bedankt voor jullie komst. 